I'm going to show you how to modify a chart that you've already made um, because you've taken a new test and we need to add some new results. So you can see I have uh, speed test results and I have test 2, um, test 3, um, and test 1. I'm going to get rid of this term 2 up here. And as I change this, I want you to take a look at the chart down here. You'll notice how it changes automatically. So isn't that kind of nice? It, it dynamically changes as you change your chart. So we need to put over here that um, we're taking speed test, we're going to pretend I'm taking speed test 4, and you can see automatically it adds in a new one in for me. And let's say on this test I've got 26 words per minute, 98% accuracy, 26. So it's pretty interesting that it intuitively is able to update your chart. If for some reason it's not updating your chart, an easy way to do this is just to go in here, click this drop down menu. You can delete your chart and um, just remake it again. And remember when we made our chart, we highlighted the labels first. And in this case, we just did net speed and accuracy. And then we did our data. And then we inserted our chart via insert chart. Okay, so once you have that done, and again, you should only have three speed test results. You're going to record all the results for the different actual drills that we've been doing. And for this one, I think we're going to do just the uh, the net speed. So uh, first labels would be speed drills and the net speed. And this is in words per minute. So remember, we can't have any labels other than numbers in these, in these data down here. Um, otherwise, it won't make a chart. So I'm going to highlight all my da data. And I'm going to insert a chart again. So insert chart. And this time let's do a line chart. We can take a look very clearly and see that our results are going up. Notice that there is no chart title, so we can go here to charts, customize, all these different options. We can add the chart title here. So you can modify the color as well. And then remember to move your chart. You just click on the white area at the top. You'll get this little hand icon. Because remember in Excel and Sheets, it's all about which icon you have. And then you can move it. Um, and you can resize these just by grabbing the corner and resizing them as well. Um, the last thing we should do is probably add some borders to our chart. Because you can see here, right now we just have our guidelines on. So I'm going to highlight the area where I want borders, turn on my borders via my border link. Please submit this via my turn-in form. I've got a link on the document. Thank you.